Hey guys, all I need is a Category 6 cable because I have a gigabit network at home. This one is Cat5. Actually, Cat5e could just about do with a gigabit. This is Cat5. It's useless. So I'm trying to get a Cat6 cable in Singapore. <sighs> and I'm very, very busy. I'm entertaining my parents. And yeah, well, you're probably saying to, your, to me over the... Into, <laughs> telepathically, you say, just go to Simlim Tower, just go to Simlim Square, go get the cable. But going to Simlim, even even though I live quite central in Yunos area, it will take me a couple of hours. I don't want to go out there. I simply just want to order a few cables and get it delivered. So, so this is the current experience, right? I go like Cat Six Singapore, and you know, then I'm like have to work out where to buy it and okay I mean Challenger is probably a good bet they're a big department store but basically uh, e-commerce is pretty bad the shop that I usually go to in Sim Limbs Square is a place called Video Pro and their website just stinks and I mean, they're not the only one that has a terrible web page. I mean, A, it's slow, um, but you know, I mean, any Magento or whatever Shopify thing, in my opinion, is pretty awful. Um, and yeah, and then they're like, you know, well, let's go find a cable. Let's find a Cat6 cable. Usually, um, well, there's no search here as far as I can tell, and then you end up having to go like Cat6, and then that's not found, and maybe Cat Space 6. Can, oh, okay, we got one here. But then, um, but then it's like 1.8 meters. I need something like 30 centimeters. Then on the other side, you know, some people in in uh, in Singapore actually end up ordering from Amazon, right? That's what they end up doing. I mean, if if, if you're not if you if you don't have if you're not time sensitive, you just might just order the stuff off Amazon, and if the postage is okay. Um, okay, this this, but. Again, Amazon, like, okay. Okay, I just want to say that Amazon, you can't even, like, get down to finding the length, but, like, I did, I swear I did the same search. That's weird. Okay, the, okay, the, oh yeah, the foot links are down here. Anywho, Amazon isn't great. So anyway, I, I drew up a little like shopping user experience that I wanted. Let me see if I can make this big for you. So right now you Google, you filter results, and you know, sometimes the results are not even there that you want. And, um, you know, you basically end up just going from memory. Like, you know, was Video Pro there? Was was Amazon on those search results? I wasn't too sure, probably an Airbus. Um and then you're clicking and you probably have to register to even make a purchase and um, add to your basket and check out. The desired shopping experience, which I think is quite possible here in Singapore, is like the personal shopper thing. This has come up and I've seen this raised a couple of times on Hacker News. I'm not just, there's probably a name for this, like a, having a personal assistant. You... The, the 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 experience the design experience is that you email sort of a personal shopper with the thing that you want oh I want a cat six cable I, want, I need five of them and uh, they need to be like less than a meter ideally and then or or I mean, unfortunately most people have terrible email etiquette so this is where I feel carousel type thing or the the a WhatsApp sort of back and forth will really work. So, you, you know, you have like a WhatsApp thing saying, I need a cable, and then the personal... I don't expect it to be instant, but it would be nice if it was like kind of instant where the, the personal shopper... I mean, it could be... Uh, the brilliant thing about this is that it's asynchronous, and it could be a mixture of human and computer intelligence, ideally. So any company does this really, really well, will, over time, get rid of the human component to some extent. So I need a cable, and then you know an artificial type, artificial intelligence thing say, what type of cable? And then I would say uh, a Cat six one meter. And then uh, and then 
I guess they are a very crucial part to any shopping nowadays is when do you when do you need it because there's stock in Singapore there's stock in Hong Kong or China so if, if if time isn't a big sensitive thing you know I could do with it next week then maybe it can be ordered from China and then uh, yeah the personal shopper says when do you need it the personal shopper eventually gives you option one two three and then you know in WhatsApp I don't I think WhatsApp links do they even work I haven't tried WhatsApp with several links, but the the idea is that the email or the WhatsApp thing just gives you a few options. You hit the option. You basically, I guess, pay the personal shopper. The personal shopper takes a 5% cut, and you get the item, and it saves me time. This is the experience I want because because basically this personal shopper, the value that the personal shopper adds is the, is the search. It's the local know-how. It's the... It's... I mean, Googling stuff and shopping on these things, it's not a great experience. I really think there's potential in the whole personal shopping type business. And I, I, I haven't seen it being done. So, so guys, this is a video asking, like, why isn't it being done? I could write the software to, 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 to have these, like, one-off links to, you know, using Stripe APIs to make payment. I reckon I could implement this damn thing. So if anyone thinks it's a brilliant idea, please let me know. Otherwise, if it's a terrible idea and you should, I should just get off my ass and go down on the center and square. Yeah, tell that to me too. Tell that to me too. That might motivate me. Thanks for watching.